everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome once again to my channel. Thanks for joining me. This is where we take an intuitive look at what's going on in our world. Before we take a look at our week ahead, I took some time over the weekend to just take a sneak peek at the upcoming year for 2022. Now I will be doing a full video on the year ahead and I will put that out probably sometime toward the middle to the end of December. Uh, but just as an overview, a little preview teaser of what I see for the year coming up, is I think we might be pleasantly surprised at some positive, thankfully, positive changes coming. Um, I was I was pretty amazed at some of the things that I saw coming in, some of the energies that are playing out. And I think it's going to take a little bit of effort on all of our parts to make a conscious decision to stay out of negative news and to basically just ignore what the naysayers and the doom and gloomers are saying because I think those energies that are fighting to their dying breath are trying everything they can to pull as many people as they can off course so that those dark energies can still survive and thrive. And the good news is I see those energies as taking their last gasp and the more people that can begin to shift their focus and say, you know what, I'm not playing into this doom and gloom. No matter what I see happening, no matter how bleak it looks or how awful it looks, I know that it is not as bad as it seems. And more and more people need to come to a place of peace no matter what's going on in the world and to come from a place of positivity and hope and let go of despair and doom and gloom because there are some good things coming there are some really positive things coming and I think if we can stay on that trajectory this next year might finally be a turnaround from the last couple of years that we've been going through. So more on that in another video when I do my year ahead predictions. All right, let's get into our week ahead coming up for the last couple days of November and into the first week of December. I'll be right back. Okay, when I first tune into the energy of the week, I am seeing something with perhaps the upper Midwest I'm just seeing some bad storms or some type of snow weather related and it could cause disruptions in travel. There could be flight delays. I got some sort of connection with a warmer climate. I saw palm trees. So I don't know if there's like a flight like from Florida to maybe Chicago O'Hare and there's some type of delay or something due to the weather. So just be aware of that. There could be that playing into the week. Okay. Um, the other energy I got, I just get some really icky energy coming out of Washington, D.C. I'm seeing something with the, the letter A and the letter B. I don't know if it's A-B, like a word that starts with A-B or something like that. There's some type of maybe a resolution or edict or something coming out of D.C. that's got some icky energy attached to it. Let's get into what we see coming up with the cards. I'll be right back. There's some shady stuff happening politically. Ah, uh, that's what I see this week. So we've got the Five of Pentacles coming out on that. And to me, it's a card of risk, undue risk. I'm getting just an icky energy coming out of Washington, D.C., as I said. And I think there's just some shady deals I think a lot of it is going to be done kind of behind the scenes, so I don't know that most people are going to be really aware. And I sense a little bit of an emotional distancing between 
the political and society. I think society has got its sights set on other things and it's really not on their radar. But the, the energy in the political is just, it's like a, just a negativity that is compounding itself into more negativity. It's, it's just, it's almost like it's devolving into itself. And the end result is just going to be more misery and yuck coming out of that arena. I do think that most people are going to be moving on with their lives and their focus and trying to see a better future for themselves and really distancing themselves politically. There's just enough of a disconnect there and that disconnect is only going to widen. I also see coming up we've got the Ten of Cups on what we need to know. And again, going back to what I said at the beginning of this video when I was talking about the year ahead and things actually looking nicer next year going into 2022, I've got the Ten of Cups. This is a really, really positive card and this is what we need to know. So we need to get this up here that things are getting better despite appearances to the opposite, to the contrary. So even though we're going to see some, some icky stuff coming out of Washington, D.C., that's nothing new. But to know in our heart of hearts that things are actually coming out maybe so that they can be exposed. Maybe things are falling apart so that they can be rebuilt, so that things can be better in the long run. We have the Ten of Cups, a beautiful card on what we need to know. So keep that in focus as you go throughout this month and if things look bleak or scary or whatever the case may be, try to tell yourself the true story and that is that things are actually improving. It just doesn't look like it right now. The energy that's leaving, I've got the High Priestess on that. And so there's a lot of things that have been going on underneath the surface, in the quiet, in the distant, in the, in the real subtle realms. If that energy is leaving, I'm wondering if things are going to start to become more overt as we go. So things that have been hidden are not going to be able to be hidden anymore. Things that have been underneath are going to be bubbling up to the surface. That's why things might get ugly before they get better. And so the problem is when we focus on the ugly and we lose sight of the better. That's where we run into problems. Um, I've got the Ten of Wands on the future, the energy ahead. Now this is taking on extra responsibility, taking on a burden. So there, there may be some hard work ahead. And it may not be a cakewalk, obviously. But it's the... the um, Hold on here, I'm looking at this for a second. Because the past, the energy leaving, we've got that High Priestess. She's flanked by those two tens. The Ten of Cups, what we need to know, that positive, and this Ten of Wands, this energy of taking on responsibility. Um, so I think if we can keep that in mind, the positive, but also having to work hard. Now the lesson coming into this week is what we're learning. Now. What an amazing card to have on the lesson that we're learning this week. We have this beautiful magician. Now, the magician card is wonderful because it talks about taking everything that we have and learning to create what we want to see despite what we see. Despite our circumstances, we are creating something better and it's based on our intent, the power of our intention, what we set our mind upon, what we dwell upon, becomes the earth we dwell upon. That came out in a reading a while back. But this is so true. If we dwell on it, if we are consumed with it, that's the energy we're putting into the world. So if we're dwelling on the apocalypse and we're consumed with doom and gloom, that's the energy we're putting into the world. Is that what we want to create? This is the embodiment of the creator. And as a co-creator, you get to create the world that you're in. What world are you creating? Are you creating fear? Are you creating scarcity? Are you creating lack? Or are you creating a world of abundance 
of seeing things evening out, seeing the beauty coming through, and trusting into the abundance, the ultimate abundance that this universe provides. We have more than enough for everyone. The truth coming out this week, the Ace of Cups. She's kitty corner right from this Ten of Cups. This beautiful energy of abundance and peace and good coming. And she is coming from the depths of creation, of wanting to create something new and beautiful and abundant. That's the truth. That's the truth. What is coming is better, guys. It's better than where we've been. We can leave this past behind. We can leave 2020 and 2021 for the most part in the dustbin because there's something really good coming if we will but embrace it and stop creating more negativity and dwelling on the negative. There's so much more. But I think a lot of times we get afraid of the good because we're so used to chaos. Chaos is not our natural state. Peace, tranquility, love, and stability are our natural state of being. But a lot of us are not used to that because we don't live it. We're used to chaos. We're used to scarcity, lack. We're used to hate, anger, malice, all of that. But those energies can't come with us if we're going to be embracing a new reality in a new world full of love and beauty. It has to come from a beautiful place within us that we are creating every day. So work on it every day, even if it's just a little bit to shift our focus out of what we see happening into what we see happening. It's not what we're seeing, it's what we're seeing out there. It comes from here out, not there in. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, the outcome, we have the Page of Pentacles, a messenger about values, and we could see some news coming out on the financial front, possibly. It could be literal. But I think it's more metaphorical about what we're creating. And we also have the Knight of Pentacles right in behind that. So things might not be as quick as we would like. That's the message of this particular knight. Sometimes he takes his own sweet time about getting things out, doing things. It is a messenger of things happening though. So just because it may not be happening as quickly as we would like, know that it is coming forth, it is happening. So those are the things I want us to focus on this week, is creating what we want to see and not dwelling on what if we don't like what we see. So that's what I want to leave us with. I will be doing my year ahead video. As I said, I'll be putting that out in a couple of weeks. Be looking for that. So this has been our week ahead and I hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, leave a like and be sure and follow me on my other platforms. Uh, link in the description. I appreciate each and every one of you. Hope you have a wonderful week. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.